Did you know, um, like I know Billy has talked about this already. Did you know about his drug habit? Did you of know course. anything about that? See, I found out um, in 2000, that it has to be in either 12 or 13 that I found out. But he told me about it, but it wasn't like he was doing it in front of me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, how bad did it get? Like his, do you know? Well, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll put it like this. So, I consider myself to be a married single mother. Mm. Okay. So, he's in his office, door closed 24-7, and that's that was it all he did all day every day and we never lived alone and the people that he would bring in and out were contributors I'll say that for legal reasons to the habit so they're providing and and he's in his office all day I wouldn't see him it could be 24 7 and he either gone or just sitting in an office and it got to the point where it the paranoia it was really it got really bad it was like a paranoia like a coke rage like a paranoia mm -hmm. to where everybody's out against me and this is what i gotta do and i gotta do it all day 24 7 locked in a room locked in his office mm. i'm saying a lot right now because <laughs> I'm giving you a lot of information, but that was my reality. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that is... See, I never knew how bad it was because... Um, and I, and I, always, I, I would always hear, like, comedians when we'd be, like, in groups. Yeah, it's like a, a fun situation. But yeah. this was a daily, all day, every day. Goodness. See, and, I, like... More than anything, um, I hope Billy gets like help with that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because he reached out to me probably a couple of months ago. One one of our friends, uh, comedians, uh, Fuquan Johnson, he oh. he passed from from mm -hmm. doing drugs, mm -hmm. and so he reached out to me like, "Hey man, I want to just say apologize for everything I've done and." we would just, just start reminiscing on like yeah. foo and how you got introduced to foo and all that yeah and so i don't wish anything bad happened to to him you know what i mean um and to you either because i'm gonna tell you courtney the it was a video that billy put out where mm -hmm. it had you looking crazy oh yeah the garage video yes yeah i was locked in the garage what happened what he locked you in the garage yeah so we had a, um, a one-day visitation because I'm, I'm dealing with lawyers. I'm dealing with a lot of stuff, legal stuff. He locked me in. Okay, woke me up out of my sleep, was mad that I didn't want to go in. Okay, I'm telling you some deep shit now. Okay. He was mad that I didn't want to go to bed with him because I, at this point I had already left the house. I'm already gone. We're not seeing like, – we're, we're done totally. Mm -hmm. But – the lawyers set up a visitation, and when I went to go pick them up, he kept them. So his requirement was like, no, you if you want to see the kids, and I couldn't do anything legally or police-wise. Police couldn't do anything unless you have papers. Got to wait on the, le the, the legal team to have papers to go, you know, do anything, even though so much stuff. So when I said, okay. The judge said verbally, you have six hours with your kids. He kept them past the six hours, kept them. And I said, this is not what the agreement is. They're used to being with me. I need to see my kids. The only way you want to see your kids is you come into my house. And I said, okay. When I go there, I sleep on the couch. He got a little bit angry, like, why? You don't want to sleep in the bed with me? Because at this time, he was still, like, trying to press the situation. Like, so you you really done? Like, <laughs> so he woke 
me up out of my sleep like so you're not gonna get in bed I said no <laughs> <laughs> no and I see where you're going with this let me just go I try to go out through the garage he already has everything unplugged this the, the the manual garage door is not working. I don't even know where it is because I always just press the button. Mm. And so when I go to the garage, I'm woken up out of my sleep. Billy's trying me. Oh, so you don't want to talk to me? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm finna leave. Go into the garage, can't press the button. For 10 minutes straight, I'm getting called. Yeah, bitch, yeah, 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 yeah. and berated for at least 10 minutes straight, and that's a long time in a freaking hot garage. Mm -hmm. By the time I turn around, because he, t he took my keys, took my um, took all the stuff that I had brought there, by the time I turn around, I was just like, okay, I'm like jingling stuff, I'm doing this, and I'm like, okay, let me out, let me out. I turn around, he's got the camera on me, and I was like, and against my better judgment, I was just like, Fuck the camera. Give me my shit. <laughs> like, let me out of here. Because the whole time he's like, yeah, bitch, you so stupid. You can't even open a garage. You can't even open a garage. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. The whole time just berating me. I'm like, it was just so messy. And I was like, that's why I'm, I'm trying to leave and trying to keep the peace. And so when you see that turn around, and I'm turning around back. And I look crazy, and then he tried to make a scene. Oh, she's on drugs. No, you locked me in the fucking hot garage mm. for 10 minutes and berated me and called me a bitch and a hoe and this and that for 10 minutes straight. And all I'm trying to do is just leave and just keep the peace. You do that? And then he posted it. All I saw was the camera, and I said, oh, I'm, I'm disappointed in myself for even reacting. But at the same time, it was like, okay, well, you did that. Then he makes the caption, oh, she's on drugs, and she's this, and she's that. I'm like, sir. Were you like, doing, those were, were the you, blows. Were you doing drugs at the time? No. Mm, okay. Mm -mm. By this time, we didn't have drug tests. We didn't have five meetings with the lawyers we've been on we've been online with the the judge and everything we've i had to get my whole hair cut out for the judge to take, take drug samples because that's how deep it was wow god dang yeah yeah it was deep i always wondered like how how did how did all y'all drama get online for everybody from, Billy. from everybody to see was what was the first video that he posted where it was like where it, everybody was now in your business i didn't post anything it was billy and then at first i think it started with delay okay his his beef with delay and that went do you know there. what that you know what that was about cuz i mean <laughs> See, that is a like I want to I want to get your perspective because that is a whole spider web of it's a spider web of uh, just a bunch of like. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so here's here's I'm and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you from from my perspective, mm -hmm. right? I remember seeing a post from Delay um, that's saying you know. He's no longer gonna be a part of um of Did the you miss me? Yeah, he's never he's not gonna longer gonna be a part, but he's gonna start his own thing, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, okay, dang, what happened? Mm -hmm. And um that was it. That's all the news mm -hmm. we got about about the show. And then I seen people started commenting like, Why, what happened? We love the show, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I seen is him online with uh with another friend of ours, Derek. And then this one, he said that y'all had been swinging and that D-Lay had performed some oral sex on him. <laughs> and so that's when it all oh shit. That's when the, that's when everybody got involved. Was like, what the fuck happened? What wait, what was going on? So <laughs> explain. Can you from your perspective, mm -hmm. 
what actually do you know anything that took place as, as far as the show or was that in, intertwined with y'all swinging so that has nothing to do with delay being disrespectful towards me or anything like that well, how did it, he, what did he do what did delay do towards you well what he put well what billy put out was like a message that said like hey you want to fly out or something like that Mm, okay. One of those messages, he put that up, and that's where he says the beef came from. But really, it was more so. Billy's, Billy's relationship with the truth, like I said, is so loose, because it was no beef before Billy got into his paranoia. They were brothers, him, Kevin. Like this, everything was going good. So I don't, I don't know really where that came from, unless it was something behind the scenes, like work-wise. Because I would hear Billy say, "I don't know how Delay's getting all these followers. I don't know how Delay's doing this. I don't know how he's making this money off Facebook. I don't know." And I. I and I'm saying maybe I'm talking too much, but I feel like that was where the bud came from. Thank you for tapping in with us. In order to see more clips like this, check out this video here or check out this one here.